Hi everybody, I'm Rosser and I'm doing a special report here for the American Music Show. With me tonight is Rex Boy, all the way from Toronto. Oh boy, I am so excited to be interviewing them because they are on a tour all over the United States and they've stopped here in Atlanta just to do an interview with me for the American Music Show. And that interview is coming up real soon, so stay tuned, everybody. What flavor? Well, I should like fall off the edge here. Can you like shut those legs, maybe? Well, do you want me to sit over there? Cause like I don't care. It, my oh, okay. Just, you sure. know what I mean? Okay. Maybe that'll be better. We just have to be very close in because of the nature of this land. Oh, that's fine. All right. As soon as the record starts, then Russell, you can start. <gasps> <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Rosser and I am here with Johnny Noxima and Rex Boy all the way from Toronto and they are visiting here because they're touring all over the United States and they've decided to grace us here in Atlanta, Georgia on the American Music Show here on People TV, Cable 12 with their presence. We have a whole bunch of questions for you guys. Oh my God. I'm so excited to have you all here. Well, we're thought what we'd like to do is I, I, I'd really like to give you here right now um, as a representative of the American Music Show, this is from all of us here at the American Music Show, a Now Explosion Stuff single. <gasps> this is an incredibly historical oh piece. Goodness. And I'm really upset that I'm not getting one myself, but that's because wow. I've gotten one from before. But. This is so exciting because we're such fans of Larry T. T. Larry T. We're Boy just howdy. the biggest fans of Larry T. They've been going on and on and on wow. about Larry T. ever since they've been here, and they've been here for like two days. We visited the, the National Larry T. Museum. Wow. Ooh. Um, and, uh, what street is that on? Williams Court? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's talking about over at my house. We have a lot of Larry T. stuff over there. But. Wow. Original Larry T. artifacts. And tons relics. of well, tons of stuff. I guess if you've been around for a long time. <laughs> um, so <laughs> let's get let's get on to answer asking you some questions. Okay, I really sure. want to ask you some questions. Now these are uh, some of these questions are supplied by me, and some of these questions are supplied by Dick Richards of the American Music Show. So okay. um, let's see if we can get. Well, we're cutting right to the heart of the matter. Of course, one of the big reasons why these two guys are really big and famous is because of their magazine, Bimbox. So give us a little, just a quick idea of what Bimbox is all about. Well, I guess Binbox is a little uh, magazine we started, um, oh for my god, fun. For, for fun, fun or whatever in 1989, but I guess it sort of turned ugly. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> uh -oh. garnering them a lot of national press and attention. Uh, yeah, I, um, I guess, yeah, it sort of, a, a lot of Americans didn't really understand our hostility towards um, the homosexual community at large, so um, it sort of took them aback. And um, but but we've uh, we don't do binbox anymore. But we're going to be starting a new magazine called Gout Magazine. Ooh, Gout! And I I hear as well as Gout, you've also got another one called Double Bill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about Double Bill. Double du Double Bill's a, a magazine we've done with um, G. B. Jones and Jenna Von Brooker, who are probably the most important homosexuals alive today anywhere in the world and it was their brainchild and we're lucky enough to do it with them and um, it's a it's a magazine um, it's it's sort of well the underlying theme I guess is television versus literature and of course we all know that television is much superior to literature but um, we sort of use <laughs> William. Con we hope so. <laughs> yes, we uh -huh. we sort of use William Conrad and William William S. Burroughs as representatives of each medium, and you know, we we demonstrate through them the goodness of television and the evil of literature. Now that that's really fabulous. And but and we've seen in um, the double bill copy that I have at home. Unfortunately, I don't have it here with me, so we can't show it on TV. But there's a lot of connections between Bill Burroughs and Bill Conrad that you make, and like, g give us a kind of a meshing kind of thing. What, well, what, it, what, what causes them to come together like that? Well, one of the interesting things is uh, a few years before William Burroughs uh, supposedly wrote Naked Lunch, uh, William Conrad put out a movie called The Naked Jungle. The Naked Jungle. <laughs> Ooh, uh -oh, whoa. So there's a big connection right there. And uh, 
And, we'll, and don't tell me, William Burroughs is 23 years older than William Conrad. I'll bet. That's who who right. bets that? I'll bet that's, that's right. true. That's right. Practically 23. 20. And what is that dragon, everybody? Oh, okay. 23. Oh, 23. Oh, 23. A very significant number. That's right. And we all know William Burroughs hates that number. He oh, hates man. that number 23. He hates it's going to be the death of him. Now, um, let me ask you this. We're mm -hmm. always getting stuff from you guys, and I'm really anxious because we at the American Music Show here just love to get presents. We just can't get enough presents. Mm -hmm. So we, we really kind of want to know what is it that you guys are going to send us next? What are we going to get uh, next? What are you going to get next? Um, what kind of big box full of stuff for everybody are we going to get next? Well, we got uh, videos that we're going to be sending you. We're going to be sending you G.B. Jones' new movie, The Yo-Yo Gang. Ooh, Ooh The Yo-Yo oh, Gang. Boy. Boy, I can't wait to see that. And of course, um, a new movie that you and um, Deandra Peake um, are in. Oh, wow, how exciting. In, in the Lollipop. Not together in the same scene. Not together no. in the same scene, no. Um, in, in Called the Lollipop Generation. The Lollipop Generation. Generation. Ooh, wee, okay. And what else? And we got a new magazine coming out called Gout. Now, called tell Gout. us a little bit about Gout. What's that all about? Well, Gout's going to be sort of an extension of Bimbox, but it's going to be more vicious than Bimbox ever dreamed of being. Ooh, whoa, okay, yeah. so you're gonna really get gonna a lot right of stuff yeah, going we're gonna, on with we're this. gonna nail those fags of the cross, <laughs> oh, boy. so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> now, they're, they're gonna uh, get everything they deserve. Okay, now tell me this, you, yeah, um, you make a, a statement like that, and we wanna know what it is that you say to people who who think that your statement like that is like insensitive or, or bad well, or a statement I, like that? What, what is that? Our what? main beef is that, you know, all these homos go around thinking that they're the most oppressed group of people on earth and it, it just is not true. They are like fourth or fifth down the list and in some ways, you know, they are more privileged than straight men and, you know, we all know the reasons why. And, um, like, it's just, it's about time that, you know, someone started to tell the truth, that's all. And I think it's just good to get like things stirred up. It gets people thinking. It's um, yeah, like a whole exactly. you know ball of wax that gets people thinking about stuff that they may not exactly. have even thought about before. At yeah, all. Well, that's our main reason for doing our magazine. I mean, I to get people thinking. Yeah, thinking, and, and thinking people. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to get people thinking, I guess. Yeah, that's a good idea. And get them watching more television. Mm -hmm. Especially cable television. And all those beautiful reruns. And oh. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, that's about all the time we've got here. Now, what are you going to do when you get back to Toronto? What's the first thing you're going to do? We're going to be listening to this Now Explosion record because we love Mr. Larry T. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to blow up this picture of Larry T and put it under my pillow. All right. Ooh. So we want to say goodbye to everybody and thanks to Rex Boy and Johnny Noxima from Toronto for being here with us on the American Music Show. Bye. 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 Oh, good. Now, you all should do the, we watch the American Music. Tell them what to say about us here. Oh, okay. You should say, when we're in Atlanta, we watch the American Music Show on Cable 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm Shiny Naxima, and I'm yeah. Rex Boy. Okay. From okay. Toronto, okay. Canada. Hi. And all right. Go been, with, 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 Hi, I'm Johnny Noxima. And I'm Rex Boy. And when we're in Atlanta, we watch the American Music Show on Cable, cable 12. 12. Is that good? Great. Oh, that yeah, that's great. perfect. <laughs> <laughs>